Common sayings of lost people number eight. Who died and made you God? I love that one. Because <laughs> they don't even realize what they're saying. They'll say it and they think, oh, who died and made you God? Uh, well, maybe you ought to think about that statement before you make it. 2 Corinthians chapter 5, verses 16 through 21. Wherefore henceforth know we no man after the flesh. Yea, though we have known Christ after the flesh, yet now henceforth know we him no more. In other words, he's not there on the earth. Verse 17, Therefore, if any man be in Christ, he is a new creature. Old things are passed away. Behold, all things are become new. And all things are of God, who hath reconciled us to himself by Jesus Christ, and hath given to us the ministry of reconciliation. Who died and made you God? Well, not God, obviously. But look what it says there in that verse. All things are of God, who hath reconciled us to himself by Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ died was buried, and he rose from the dead, and hath given to us the ministry of reconciliation. So, Jesus died, and he didn't make me God, but he gave me the ministry of reconciliation. Hmm. To reconcile you to God. That's my job. That's why I'm here. Trying to get you saved. To get you into a place where you get in contact with God and say, I believe that Jesus died for my sins, your personal sins. You see? Come to the end of your self-righteousness. Put your faith in Jesus Christ, His death, burial, and resurrection. That's my job. Uh, I have a perfect standard by which I can judge things. Jesus died. And by the way, I'm one flesh with Jesus Christ. Doesn't make me God, but... I'm connected to Him, and His Holy Spirit dwells within me. Helps me to understand the book. So, like I said, I'm not God, but Jesus died and gave me the ministry of, recon ministry of reconciliation that people like you don't have if you're lost. 2 Corinthians chapter 5, verse 19 through 21. To wit that God was in Christ, reconciling the world unto Himself. Notice God and Christ are mentioned there, but it says, unto Himself not imputing their trespasses unto them, and hath committed unto us the word of reconciliation. Now then, we are ambassadors for Christ, as though God did beseech you by us. God did beseech you by us. Please get a hold of that. Okay? Who died and made you God? Jesus died. Gave us the ministry of reconciliation. And look what it says. As though God did beseech you, lost people, by us. God speaks through me. The Holy Spirit of God speaks through me. You see? I'm telling you how you can be saved. I'm not trying to make your life miserable. I'm not trying to ruin you or destroy you or whatever else. You know, I'm trying to tell you how to be saved. I'm an ambassador of Jesus Christ. God Almighty. I'm one of His servants. The rest of verse 20, we pray you in Christ's stead, be ye reconciled to God. For he hath made him to be sin for us who knew no sin, that we might be made the righteousness of God in him. People attack me and they'll say, you're, you're you self-righteous. I don't have self-righteousness, right? You know what Brian Denlinger is? I'm a sinner. I'm wicked. I couldn't earn heaven, so I went to Jesus Christ to get in. I'm not self-righteous. My righteousness that I have, the changed life that I have, comes from God. God in me. First Corinthians chapter 15, verses 1 through 4. Moreover, brethren, I declare unto you the gospel which I preached unto you, which also ye have received, and wherein ye stand, by which also ye are saved, if ye keep in memory what I preached unto you, unless ye have believed in vain. It's very important there. People do believe in vain. That's why you see so many hypocrites out there professing Christians. They believe in vain. Verse 3, For I delivered unto you first of all that which I also received, how that Christ died for our sins according to the Scriptures, and that He was buried, and that He rose again the third day according to the Scriptures. Who died and made you God? Jesus Christ died to pay for your sins. And when you get saved, you are physically, spiritually connected to God. Okay? I should say spiritually connected to God physically comes later on at the resurrection. All right? 
So I'm not God, but Jesus Christ did die, and God speaks through me. Uh, if you don't like that, well, maybe you ought to get saved, and you'll understand it.